<laughs> I shit my finger. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> I'm on a thing. Oh, what is that? A carrot? Oh, it's a pen. <laughs> no, it's highlighter. I love highlighters. I love highlighters. <gasps> I don't know why. Do you, do you write a lot of notes? Like, do you have a lot of do, notes yes. on your computer and stuff? Big time. At Chance Inks, we're a, an entertainment company, and you know the most important thing to us, as a, a, as a company that you know focuses on on uh, right now games, but is our our, our audience, you know, and um, we try to foster a relationship uh, and uh, a bridge to our to our audience uh, members and our, our community on Discord. And it's really fun for us when we have active um, and uh, valued members in our in our community. So you know, Lavery is one of those 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 folks uh, in, on our Discord channel who's been such a really fun and valued member. Um, you know, mm. he's always uh, given us great feedback um, and you know, sharing her cool music uh, inspiration and her artwork. And so what we wanted to do was just uh, spend some time and chat with you, get to know more about you, and also kind of like a, a AMA for Lavery and also an opportunity for, for Lavery as well to ask us any questions too, to find out more about you know what, what we're working on and also for us to learn more about what kind of projects you're working on on the side, what kind of games you enjoy. So uh, just to get to know uh, you better and for you to kind of learn more about what we do at Chan6 as well. So. Yay! Sounds like a plan. <laughs> yeah. So, so maybe, maybe right off the bat, we can just say, "Hey, you know, Lavery, uh, if if you want to kind of uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, what you got going on as far as your projects and um, your um, your pastimes right now, and uh, kind of introduce yourself." Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so, hi, I'm Lavery. So, ye. Uh, so, what I'm doing for project so actually right now I'm working with a friend from my um, from my uni um, we're making a hack and slash kind of game we don't have a name for it yet but we call it chinchilla propaganda for now because you play to chinchilla and he will go fight big bosses oh sorry that was the win but yeah he will go fight big bosses and be really cool so my friend or yeah my friend he's um he's the programmer guy and I'm I'm the art person and Right now we're kind of experimenting, like, at first we're gonna do like 2D, like I was trying to make it kind of like Paper Mario kind of style, so because I really like that art style. But, um, some complications in the animations have come up, so I'm trying actually with 3D modeling. So we'll see how that goes, so that's like one personal project I'm working on. Um, art stuff, yes, I draw lots of art. I actually have to finish a few commissions. <laughs> I'll get to it, but I like, um, I draw anime. Stuff. I'm a, a hundred percent weeb, and as they say, I may be cringe, but I am free. So I am very free to be a weeb. So yeah, I like to draw anime. Um, video games can reflect that too. I cannot play a game if the characters are not cute. So they have to. So I usually go for games that are like JRPGs, anime style, Nintendo games, because yeah, everything there is like aesthetically my my thing. Um, let's see. So games I'm playing right now. Genshin Impact. Um, yes, I like my anime Breath of the Wild. I also am playing Pokemon Snap, like we were talking earlier. I'm sorry that's loud in the background, but uh, yeah, Pokemon Snap. I'm playing Splatoon. I have a Splatoon crew that I play with every week. Uh, and we have a good freaking time together making a jokes. Uh, what else am I playing? Um... You play Among Us. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I play Among Us. Yeah, I play. <laughs> I like to play Among Us with the homies because I like to. I like to cause everyone trouble by not by not being helpful at all in the discussion. <laughs> I just think it's Stay funny, dude. They'll figure it out. They'll figure it out. I, I'm just there to troll. Um, yeah. So that's a, that's what I'm playing. Um, oh. yeah, yeah. So yeah, you yeah. you so you you said you're um, a lot of awesome stuff to chat about there. So you you said mm -hmm. you're. Uh, you're working on a game and you're doing the art mm -hmm. you, you're doing uh you were gonna you're, you're starting to do some 3d so like wh what kind of game is it is it uh like a like a side scroller is it a action game uh it's supposed to be kind of like a hack and slash kind of boss rush kind of game so like you know kind of like 
a pet or like Shadow of the Colossus is like, you know, you mostly just go fight big bosses and it's supposed to be like mm-hmm. really challenging. That's what we're kinda going after. The about ba- the gameplay. We're kinda inspired by like like uh, what's the best way to put like near automata, like that kind of like combo system or like the Tales of series, like a, a real time action fast paced like battle system. Uh, so that's where we are. Uh, we are right now. It's just yeah. Right now we're just kind of trying to transition because the even though the art style was gonna be in two D initially, um, the field is actually three D to allow for three D movement. So that's why we're like, okay, let's just try with three D models and see which one works better with the animations. Because like quickly realizing, I'm like, oh, these animations are gonna be very pretty complex. So <laughs> I have to kind of figure out like what works best for the game. And we're making it on Unity. Right. Because Unity is great. I don't like Unreal. I'm just gonna be real. <laughs> so, uh, is this is this the first game you're you're working on uh, in an indie capacity? Uh, no, actually, uh, this is like I made like a couple small projects before because okay, I guess like a little background on me. Like I I actually graduated from UC Santa Cruz Games and Playable Media uh, for my masters and. Um, we actually had like a year long term project there that was um that kind of was a kind of a capstone project that was basically what you need to like graduate and we try to make it as like or the program try to make it like very as like an indie studio studio capacity as possible so let's see so what i actually did there for like a little like um like well like a little thing i did it was like actually one of the bigger projects i worked on it's called journey to memory so Actually, the creative director was actually my sister, and it was supposed to be like a, a, a side-scrolling puzzle game, but you use your voice to control the game. So, for example, like you could try like a little, like a cute little, like anime little witch, and you tell her, be like, Vivi, go right, and she'll move right. And then you'd be like, Vivi, cast fiber, and she'll use like a fire spell. So it was it was a really cute, sim- uh, like a really cute anime-like game. It was really fun to have that being play tested during when the UC Santa Cruz is like showcase. Uh, where a lot of people come to visit and they're like, oh, let's test your game. And everyone's just yelling at Vivi. They're like, Vivi, do something. And we even had like a filter on it that if you say like a bad word, like Vivi would be like, well, make like a shock sound. She'd be like, like, what? Like, no, I'm not going to say that. So it was actually kind of funny. Did you ever launch any of those games or like, are those available? Um, yeah, that one's actually available on Steam. I can actually share it with you if you like. I can, uh... Yeah, that'd be cool to yeah. take a look. That must have been a challenge to, to code. Um, you and you did all the art for that? Uh, no, actually, um, actually for that one, I was more like the the uh, level designer, puzzle designer. I was actually more, I did like a little bit of art, but mostly the art was my sister, and um, we had some external artists that we um, hired to like work with us to make some of the artists that's in the game. So I was, yeah, I mostly made like levels and puzzles, which was. A challenge because I'm supposed to like reflect the narrative in the story. So it's just like, how do I make this puzzle reflect the the story with like them? I guess like the least amount of words because like we didn't want it to be a wordy game because you're talking to the character. We didn't want any other much text besides that. Did you cool have any text? issues with the with the vo- voice recognition? Like, um, did it only work for certain types of voices, or or was that like a problem that you guys had? I could see that being an issue. Oh yeah, that was. <laughs> Oh, man. oh yeah, that was um uh, that was super huge issue. So actually, um when making the game, so it will only work if your computer has Cortana because we're using like um gosh I can't think what's called but basically the preset we're using it has to use Cortana. So there was a lot of things that went on. So we asked there was actually a point where I think like like a foreign students from Korea came to visit to, and like came to visit our program and we mm-hmm. let them try the game and like um. Most of these like students are they're like still learning English, so as you can imagine, there's a strong accent. It does not pick up accents well. Just yeah. straight up, we're just like, oh no, <laughs> we were so sad about that. And it's just like, like that's like something that's like with Microsoft, like there's nothing much we can do. Um, the most like right. the, the most we can do was actually to add a lot of synonyms, and then because it's like, um, are we trying to like type in words because it's, I guess like the put there's like a list, there's like a list of words that you can use. So we try to type like as close as it can to the pronunciation. So hopefully like Cortana can pick it up, be like, oh, okay, that's what they meant. Because that was as best as we could do. So it's just like, oh, that, that hurt my heart though. I was just like, I am so, like when we were watching it, we are like, we we're so sorry. Like, oh my gosh, like, it's like you guys are fine. It's just a program. Right. <laughs> Surprise. 
So, so you had a chance to do like coding, level design, game design, and, and the art part of it. Which mm -hmm. which of those aspects, disciplines of uh, of the the game making process did you did you enjoy the most? Actually, I, I think I kind of surprised myself. I thought I liked the design process the most, and I do. I did like the design process, but I actually like the art kind of process and communication the most. Like, I like working with people, be like, hey, what's going on? And like, how's like, because I also work with like sound designers because we had to get them externally from a different school. And it was nice, like, working with them to try and make it fit the game as much as possible. So that was nice. I really like the art stuff actually quite a bit. And so I was just like, huh, maybe that's why I, with the current project working on with my friend, I was just like, can I, I was like, let me do, let me do the arts. I just want to draw a bunch of things. Mm -hmm. And he's like, yeah, go for it. <laughs> um, just like, a, this is a random question, but um, what are your, what's your favorite food? I know this is oh, my favorite super food? off topic. Yeah. Oh, my favorite food? Oh, man. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I, I have the greatest answer oh, for this. Oh, wow. And it's, and it's boba. <laughs> I love, oh, we already talked about that. I love, yeah, I love. Okay, okay, no, I'll separate the three. Okay, so for my favorite, okay, for my favorite snack, it has to be in particular Lay's Flamin' Hot Chips Kettle Cook. Particularly mm. that, Ooh. it has to be that. Um, for food, I love dumplings. I love, oh, I love dumplings so Respect much. That. I grew up with dumplings. Yeah, thank you. I just. I love that one. God, it's so good. I could just eat that for the rest of my life, and I think I'll be okay. <laughs> and then for my favorite drink, it's it's all the boba. I I literally, I do like literally every time I hang out with any of my homies, we'd be like, all right, let's just go get boba. So I think it's just, I think it's just like now, it's like an addiction. I'm like, oh, if I see the homies, that means boba day. You love anime, to, what in in um, Nintendo games? So I know you're a big Nintendo fan, and I happen to be a big Nintendo mm -hmm. fan as well. So. You know, already yeah. you're, you're, you you go high in my ranks for that. Um, so what 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 is your favorite Nintendo games? Oh, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, um, obviously Splatoon. I like to tell yeah. all my friends that we were living in the dark ages before 2015 when Splatoon One came out. All, all those years we were in the dark ages. Now we're enlightened. We have reached the peak of golden age because Splatoon is out. So Splatoon, obviously, I love that one to death. Um. Legend of Zelda series, I love. I grew up with that one. Um, Wind Waker is my favorite. Ocarina of Time was pretty nice. Um, gosh, I just like all the Zelda games. I I, I just... I love, I love, every time they come with a new one, it's great. Breath of the Wild is amazing. I do miss the dungeons, but... I do like Breath of the Wild, and that's why I like kind of like Engine Impact comes hand with that. Awesome. What about, what about uh, anime? Like, what kind of anime are you watching these days? Ooh, okay, so anime. Oh man, so I just finished Re Zero. That one's really good. That one is intense. Um, if you if you haven't heard of it, Re Zero is basically an anime about where this guy he dies in our world and he got sent to this fantasy world, and he's trying he's basically trying to survive in it because he has this power where he if he dies he can go back to like a load point, and. Well, the world really like hates him or something. Like he keeps like like he wants to protect his friends, like the friends he made there, but they keep dying. So he has to keep going back and figure out ways how to get how to like navigate each situation where everyone can survive and it happens frequently. And it's it's really sad. Like I mean, it's kind I liked it because it was kind of great because he had a good character development moment because he was just like at first he was he was doing it because he liked this girl and I liked the girl too, but he did all this because he liked some girl and then he got like really pissed because he's like you know he's dying. And he knows he's dying, but no one knows. That, no one else knows that he's dying going back in time because he can't tell him because if he tells someone, he dies. And he's just like to the girl, he's like, "Why don't you love me?" And she's just like, "What are you talking about? I never told you to do any of this for me." And then he kind of realizes he's just like, "You know what? No, I shouldn't do this because I want someone to love me back. I should do this because I care about them." And that was kind of great. But yeah, poor guy dies in many ways. Like he got eaten by rabbits, and I was like, "Oh God!" <laughs> but by um, rabbits. Wow. They must have yeah, been big like rabbits. A, Jeez. It was like a it was like a rabbit army. Like it was a I, I forgot what they were called, but like basically the rabbits uh, were they're like demon bees that can infinitely multiply. So like the 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 thing they had to do was try to get rid of these rabbits where it eats people because that's what they do. But yeah, it, it ate him to death because there was just so many of them. But they were really cute. The rabbits were really cute. I was like, oh, they're so cute. Even if they're devouring him, they're still adorable but kind of scary. What <laughs> like, was oh, this called? Oh, oh no, uh, Re Zero. 
Uh, R E E. Yeah, and then zero like the number. B zero. There's like three seasons out for that one. It's really good. I recommend it. So, wanted to give you an opportunity as well, Avery. If you wanted to ask us, do you have any questions for us or? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I do actually. I was actually curious. Um, um, uh, like for Gen Overdrive, especially, I was kind of curious about like because you just like there was just a blog post posted about the environment and i read it but i was curious what is the um what's the like the world building like was there like any like what's the world of like generation overdrive what's the story behind the characters their motivations and all that kind of stuff yeah um so so the world that we've set it in is is uh like a, a dystopian future um where <laughs> Pains entered the house. California's you. Oh, am I am I t painting? No, it was good because it was a dystopian like hacking of your. Yeah, you're back now. There you go. Yeah, that was actually pretty. I was like, yeah, you got timing. Max headroom. Yeah, so it's like we're we're New Phoenix is the new mega coastal mega city, the coastal mega city, and um, it the the California's like underwater. It's far into the future and um mm -hmm. it's 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 more of a a a, a spoof not a spoof but a, a, a lampoon of uh mm -hmm. the cyberpunk genre so we're having fun mm -hmm. with that you know with the the ideas of the the megacorp our, our three factions are basically the mega corporations the syndicates which are like just the you know mm -hmm. the, the various different gangs that are running amok in the city hey you back sorry i think i disconnected okay, no worries. yeah no worries no worries yeah, so I was just saying that we're 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 looking at like how how what are the what are the aspects of our world that make it mm -hmm. different from any other world? So like you know we have um, uh, vending machines that are actually robots that walk around on the street and like you know they're like imagine like a hot dog stand in New York today, but it's an mm -hmm. actual robot that walks around, <laughs> you know, and That's could actually turn into, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we have some awesome concept art. We'll show you for that. Um, that we're actually building it'll be in a level um but imagine that that character would actually be one of our one of our fighters one day <laughs> you know mm -hmm. it's just such a cool character um just slinging hot dogs i want to use that yeah oh. and you know what i mean um and so it's like we want to, mm -hmm, we wanted mm -hmm. to, to, to bring uh kind of user generated content and, and also uh you know not to use a buzzword but it's more like to have the the players be part of the creation process as well um so there's a lot of fun ways we're looking at we uh, how, how to do that so have a boba vending machine yeah why not <laughs> do yeah. it do it do it oh that'd be my game. favorite oh that'd be my favorite i would use the boba vending machine he will never leave my team ever he can live there <laughs> <laughs> i would use him religiously <laughs> what's everyone's favorite gen overdrive characters like i think i made mine kind of obvious <laughs> so mine's pretty obvious so i like but what's everyone's favorite uh Honestly, most more than more recently, I think the sumo is more, more my favorite, just because we mm -hmm. saw him. For we have this um, this scene that we test all the models in, and for the longest time he was just a, a block out, so there was no textures, and we just added mm -hmm. the textures. And I think I think he looks. I, I mean, for right now, I think he looks the coolest, maybe because it's it's fresh. Also, uh -huh. I really like the hacker, but she's not. We haven't built her yet. I, don't, I think you've seen. Have you seen concepts of her? I, I did see her, and I love her. I want to use her. I like her impulse. <laughs> She's really <laughs> cool. Like, yeah. She looks um, neat. I love it. Yeah. I, you know, it's like it's almost like which ones do you not like? Because I think I, I really like all of them. The ones uh, there's yeah. a couple I'm not super excited about. But I won't talk about that. But um, most of them, yeah, I'm super. I like. They're they're my mm -hmm. style. I like them. I feel it. I feel it. <laughs> I just yeah my I just really like Pulse and uh the new girl design because I was like oh they look like really like like they look really punk and I like yeah I like that yeah. punk it yeah. feels should, feels good it feels great we should show her the Pulse um animations those are freaking cool I'm yeah. sure she'd like those and that, and that's the thing like there are some characters that when you see them in their a pose or their t pose and they're really static and they don't have personality because they're just they're just this inanimate model 
that sometimes it's hard to see what's going to be cool about them. Uh, but when you animate them and when they're like full of personality and full of life, that's when it's like, oh, cool. Now I can really identify with that character, you know, like mm -hmm. we have one character who's like a mad scientist who when you look at him, OK, he doesn't have the big bazooka. He doesn't have a big cyborg arm. You know, he doesn't have these awesome like weapons that you think are as per wow, I'm going to do some big damage. But when you see him animated, when he comes to life, it's like you can't wait to have that guy in your in your roster, you know, and, and, and for mm -hmm, me, mm -hmm. it's it's not. I don't know. It's I don't want to be cheap about this answer, but it's not that I don't. I I, I prefer any one character over the other. I cut, like every new character we make. It becomes my next favorite. But for me, it's like it's the um, it's putting the characters together that's fun and seeing them how they play off one another in your squad because that's what's really mm -hmm. unique about our, our our combat system and our gameplay is is that 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 team play that you're controlling three fighters real time simultaneously. Uh, a lot of times mm -hmm. you're you're doing that in. Uh, in like sequentially or turn-based, you know? So so right. that's what's really about what we're doing. Um, and, and, and so having them together is uh, is what's fun. So it's like it's the it's the banana split. I feel it. I feel that. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? You got that, right? Ne Neapolitan, yeah. is that what's called? The banana split. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, banana split is cool. The best of all worlds. It's like, I don't want the vanilla scoop. I want the vanilla with the chocolate, with the banana, with the split cream. It's like, yeah. Only get I the best, I feel you. I feel get you. the best of everything. Mm -hmm. But you could just get, you could just get a banana with one scoop of ice cream, one scoop of vanilla. And then what? Be not as good. Then you just have two characters. You need yeah. a squad, you need the whole squad, yeah. This is true. You do need the whole squad. <laughs> It has to be all, all the homies. We have one of them would be sad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I I think mine's gonna be the tank, like or that the the sumo. Just yeah. Because it was the first sumo. Like it was like the first yeah. one, and just remembering all the crazy ideas that we had and all the things on the post-it notes, just like you know, Italo and stuff like that, just brainstorming and really trying to figure out what that first character was um, and what he turned out to be is really cool um, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. yeah I, I, we're excited we want to uh, I think we'll probably do that this week share out some of those animations so you guys can take a look at you know they're moving around and you get to see them in, like in actual kind of like a game state it's pretty cool Nice. I think that's an awesome, uh, awesome place to to end it there. To thinking about like the mm -hmm. future of what we might do with Chan Six, and also like you know with you along for the uh, for the journey as well. It's uh, one of our again like one of our valued members in our Discord community. So you know it's uh, it's been really great having your feedback and your uh, support all this time. So thank you so much, Lavery, for uh, for taking the time to chat with us and share a little bit more about your background. Oh yeah, of course. No, thanks for thanks for talking. Thank you so like thanks for talking to me. I'm like I feel like I talked about myself a lot, but I re it was really fun talking with you guys again. Wanted. You guys rock. I love being here. For. Yeah, that's what it was for. No, it was great, great hearing your uh, you know answer some of those questions and get um, a little bit more personal, I guess, and just understand you a little bit more. Thank yeah, you so much for those yeah, drawings. Right? Yeah. Oh. No problem. I just like I was just like I will I will try express <laughs> my thanks with more than just saying thank you somehow. <laughs> I was just like ah I will, I will, I'll do it. I'll draw a picture. I figured it out. <laughs> yeah, those are rad. But yeah, yeah I'm, I'm glad you guys like it. But yeah, I will I will be around. I like to see where you guys are going to. I'm like really excited for Generation Overdrive. So. I mean, I'll be here on t also, <laughs> even not in July, but I will. Only You're just gonna appear in July. <laughs> I'll just like just suddenly just appears, but no, I'll be here. I'll be here. I'll I'll come in when I can. Awesome. <laughs> I'm excited. Awesome. I'm just really excited. But yeah. yeah thanks again. Cool. cool. Thank you, Levery. Cool. Thank, Thank you, you Levery. Take care, you guys. Thank you. See ya. Bye. 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 Bye.